How do you make the molecular orbital diagram for the H2 plus ion? Start by drawing in the highest energy atomic orbitals that are occupied or filled with electrons for the individual hydrogen atoms. By looking at the periodic table and the electron configuration for hydrogen, we can see that it is 1s1. And you can see that the highest energy atomic orbital shows itself right here as 1s. So we will draw in this highest energy atomic orbital for hydrogen, which is the 1s, and we will draw in another one for the other hydrogen atom at the same energy level. Then we need to draw in our molecular orbitals. For hydrogen, or H2, there are two molecular orbitals. One is higher in energy, and the other is lower in energy than the atomic orbitals. Be sure to connect these two with the atomic orbitals just like shown. The molecular orbital that is lower in energy is a bonding molecular orbital called the sigma 1s molecular orbital. And the one that is higher in energy is an anti-bonding molecular orbital called the sigma 1s star molecular orbital. Then fill in the atomic orbitals just as you would filling in an electron configuration or an energy level diagram. In the case of hydrogen, there is one valence electron for each hydrogen atom. This would make two hydrogen or two electrons in the case of an H2 molecule. However, this is an H2 plus ion. So we need to take one electron away from one of the molecules. It doesn't matter which, just take one away from one of the molecules to account for the plus in our H2. So in total, the H2 plus ion will have one valence electron present. I'm gonna actually write that in black. One valence electron present in the molecular orbitals or in this section of the diagram. So we'll start by drawing in the electron in the hydrogen. There's one electron there, and then this electron will fall to the lowest energy level, according to the off bat principle, into the sigma 1s molecular orbital. And this here is a completed molecular orbital diagram for the H2 plus ion. Now, what is the bond order for H2 plus? The bond order describes the stability of a bond or the strength of a bond, and is directly related to the number of electron pairs involved in a bond in H2. So let's calculate the bond order. Bond order is equal to, I'm actually drawing an equal sign here, equal to one half the number of bonding electrons minus the number of anti-bonding electrons. So we see that there's one bonding electron in our bonding molecular orbital and no anti-bonding electrons in our higher anti-bonding molecular orbital. So we can do one minus zero. We know one half of one is equal to one half. So the bond order for H2 plus is equal to one half. And this bond order makes sense. A bond order of one half correlates to half of a single bond. And because we have one electron, we can see in the H2 plus molecule that there'll be one electron that is shared between the two atoms. And in the H2 plus molecule, we can see that there is half of an electron pair, which directly connects to your bond order of one half. Finally, is H2 plus paramagnetic or is it diamagnetic? Well, because H2 plus has one unpaired electron in its molecular orbitals, this means that it will express paramagnetism and the H2 plus molecule will be paramagnetic. Being paramagnetic implies that the H2 plus ion will be weakly attracted to an external magnetic field. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.